Nimble Streamer allows transforming incoming WebRTC streams into any supported live stream protocol. In this tutorial, we'll show how to set up a Nimble Streamer instance installed on a server capable of accessing both the internet and some local network. The Nimble instance will receive WebRTC and then send the UDP multicast into the local network. We'll also show VLC receiving that multicast and playing it properly. We have a Nimble Streamer instance of the latest version. We've already set up SSL for Nimble as well as added two parameters required to enable WebRTC. Let's set up the application which defines the incoming WebRTC streams. We define its name and credentials for further use in publication process. Let's publish a stream from a browser. We use the app name and some distinctive stream name as well as user and password. Another parameter sets the codecs which a browser will use, in our case it's H264. In our example, we'll use a WebRTC mock device in Safari to initiate a picture with a clock for further comparison. Here we see that UDP port is used for WebRTC transmission. You need to make sure that incoming UDP connections are allowed at the server which you use. Run this command to find out. We also have SSL port 443 enabled. It's needed for web signaling. Now let's go to live streams lists for our server. As you can tell, the incoming stream is running. We also have it in the list of available outgoing streams. It's important for further retransmission. Let's set up UDP multicast. We go to live stream settings for our server under UDP streaming tab. In our IP address field, we use 239.111. That's the IP for multicast in the local network. As a source of our content, we'll use the WebRTC stream, which we just saw in the outgoing streams. Once the setting is applied, we can try watching the stream which we've just set up. Let's use VLC. In VLC preferences, we set the caching level to lowest latency. In the stream setting, we use add sign with 239.111 address and the previously defined port to tell VLC to listen for multicast. The stream is running fine. Let's compare it to the original source. Check video description for more articles and videos about WebRTC setup.